Hey, I am Lynn Coffey, and I am a website strategist for service-based businesses, which means if you sell a service like a coach or a trainer or a consultant or a professional or something like that, then I can help you get more leads from your front end website. So a question, actually the number one question that I get from people is, hey, I got a website, but it's not doing nothing. <laughs> How do I get leads from it? So in order to get leads from your front end website, there are a few things that need to happen. And I'll be the first to admit that it's a total mind warp for most business owners. You see, most business owners think, well, I got a website, so do something and they kind of poke it with a stick and they look at it and, and, and then ultimately they just kind of forget about it and, and don't do anything with it. But there are a group of us, very, very smart and intelligent business owners that look at a website and go, all right, well, gee, it may not be doing anything right now, but I feel like it should do something for me. And even if you don't know what that is, or how to get your website to do it, or how to even edit the website, or you just, just don't even know, it's just a giant question mark. You probably know deep down inside that you're supposed to have a website and it's supposed to do something. So this video is gonna aim to clear that up. So here's the big strategy that we need to understand. And again, this is kind of that mind warp for us business owners to get it first. And here it is, if you are selling a service then that usually means that you are the one that will be providing the service to your client. So the very first thing is that you have to understand it is scary for somebody visiting your website to just simply call you up and ask questions. In today's day and age, it is so much easier to reach out via the internet or social media or text messaging. People really don't like walking into your business if you have a storefront. They don't really like walking into your business and saying, hi, I, you know, I'm here to ask questions. It's, you know, when was the last time you just randomly walked into a therapist's office and asked questions about pricing? Or <laughs> what was the last time you really felt comfortable walking into a personal trainer facility to get information? You see, people go to the front end website first before they call you or stop in. So that front end website is oftentimes the first impression that people are gonna have of you. Now, most websites are stale, they're boring. They don't really give a lot of information. There's not a lot of enthusiasm behind it. But if we can make the website sort of come alive, if it's a virtual representation of you, the service provider, then we have an opportunity to make a connection with the website visitor. And yes, it's not gonna be actually physically you making the connection. You're not gonna be meeting with them in person yet or talking with them on the phone yet. But if we can make the website, the virtual you, from their viewpoint, they will be getting to know you. They will be getting to know what makes you different. They will be getting to know how you tick, what your personality is like, if they're vibing with it or not. So even though you've never met them, you are able through your website to start the process of developing that professional relationship, or as I like to call it, the friendship between your website visitor and you even though you don't even know that they exist. This is the first, albeit giant step in the lead generation process. You see, people aren't really gonna reach out and opt in for something that they're not really sure they want yet. Which leads me to the really big step number two, uh, lead generation strategy, is that you have to give people something that they want. Far too often I see people give like, uh, sign up here for my free newsletter, and that's their offer. The reality is not a lot of people want another free newsletter. <laughs> like They're not jumping up and down about that. So when you develop a free offer for your business, you wanna make sure that it's something your target market, something your prospective clients are, would jump at the bit for, something that they really want, that they would find value in, something that would give them immediate help and move them along the process of just not now, just know, not more than knowing you, actually opting in and getting to get a bit deeper with you, even though if it's still virtual, that's fine. And then ultimately from there, they will contact you. And then from there, you'll have an opportunity to make them your newest client. 
So it's all part of the process. But if they don't know you like you trust you, and if you don't give them something that they want, then it's kind of hard to expect a sale to come down the line. So it's this linear thing that's happening. It's sort of step one, step two, step three, and so on and so forth. The other strategy for getting more leads is when you bundle that free offer together, make sure that you're selling it. Even though it's free, you need to give as much information about that as possible. So here's one of my favorite examples to give for this. Let's say you're offering, let's say you are a, a personal trainer and you own your own facility and you're offering a free consultation. Most websites I'll see just will have a, a page that says, you know, fill in the form below for a free consultation. And then they wonder why they don't get any leads. Well, from the website visitor's perspective, it's kind of unknown, right? Well, how long is the consultation? Is it 15 minutes or is it 45 minutes? Do I get a tour of the facility? Is it just a veiled sales pitch? Are you going to take measurements of me? Do I, should I bring sneakers? Like, am I gonna get sweaty? You see, from the website visitor's perspective, they don't know what's entailed in a free consultation. So you have to give them all of the information so that they can start to feel if this is a good deal for them, but then also if it's something that they're legitimately interested in. So when you make an offer, make sure that you're giving all the, deta the details of that offer because that will help you get more opt-ins. It will make your conversion rate go up, which is ultimately what you're looking for. So those are three really big strategies that I would use and, and, and implement in your website as soon as you're able. Get your website to have a personality so that people can connect to it, start to know you like you trust you. The next step is to give them an offer that they really want, that they're interested in. And the last step is sell that offer, even though it's a free offer. Make sure you explain it, get them excited about it, show them testimonials of people who've taken you up on the offer and the results that people have gotten from the offer, if that makes sense for your business. Those are three things that I would do first to get your website to develop more leads from the traffic that you're sending in. Okay, if you are watching this video on YouTube, be sure, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that I put out. If you're watching the video somewhere else, please like it, comment on it, share it. Uh, whatever you wanna do would be fantastic. I personally read every comment or email that you wanna send me. Uh, and of course, if you have questions about anything else, please reach out and let me know. Okay, take care, bye-bye.